my journal is something that's super, super important to me. I've been journaling for years now since I started going to therapy. Um, it's just been a very significant part of my recovery. My name is Owetu, obviously. I am from Johannesburg. I was actually born in Australia, in Melbourne, um, at Victoria State, shout out. Um, and um, I'm the oldest in my family. We are two. I've got a younger brother who goes to UCT, and I'm my mom's favorite child. <laughs> So I think um, it would have to go to my therapist. I've actually been going to therapy on and off for, I think, maybe oh, for years. I don't actually know. But since I was 13, I've been going on and off to therapy. And um, I remember when I was uh, approximately like 16-ish and I was in therapy, um, my therapist suggested that I start journaling. Um, and this was to kind of like help me um, when I was going through a really, really, really tough time, uh, I suffer from anxiety, and um, I think that journaling has helped me through that really deep anxiety. Um, I also struggled a lot when my dad passed away in 2021. He passed away from COVID, um, complications with having COVID, and um, I struggled to get through that. And I think journaling kind of helped me get through that, and so I owe the inspiration behind journaling to my therapist. I would describe it as, uh, how would I describe it? I would describe it as my thoughts to God. Um, it's kind of um, a prayer sometimes, I believe, because I ask for things, but thank God for things. I think sometimes it's just a conversation with God, um, telling him about what I'm going through. Sometimes I feel like um, I struggle to pray. Um, and I don't know if that's something that like, and so I think journaling kind of like has assisted me in that. Um, I struggle to kind of like sit there and talk to God, if that makes sense. That's why I've turned journaling into my daily prayer, my conversation with God, and just my thoughts and maybe my memoir of my life, if you would like to look at it like that. The good things that have come from it is that I've been able to be, take a lot of stuff off my shoulders. Um, as someone who struggles to kind of um, communicate, put their thoughts together, struggles to speak in general, um, I think journaling has helped me put my thoughts together and kind of like be able to speak. Um, because I'm so anxious all the time and I kind of struggle in social situations because of my social anxiety, I think that journaling has kind of helped me put together the, my thoughts in a lot of aspects and has helped me just put together what I wish I would be able to say to people if I had the kahunas to say to people. I just sometimes stick into being my little shy bubble because sometimes I'm like, I take things off my chest when I write down, so why would I need to speak to anyone? Mm -hmm. uh, it starts by, um, I, have, I don't have like a set routine, but I either write in the morning, preferably I like to write in the morning, um, and at night, I try to do it twice a day. I don't always get about doing that, but I try to. And so I would come back to Rez. I kind of like get into my bedroom, think about my thoughts and like stuff that's happened through the day. The first thing I do is write because I think it's like really important, especially if I've had like a really bad day, like a super sorry for the curse word shit day. Um, I just think that the best thing to do is just to take that off my heart so that I don't bring that sadness upon others that I might cross. I sit in my bed and I write, I take it all out, my prayer to God, um, my verse that I see, my verse um, that, that I come across that I might enjoy. And then in the mornings, I wake up and it's the first thing I do. I wake up and I write. And I write the verse of the day. I kind of write my goals of the day, what I want to achieve. Do I want to, even if it's a small goal, like I want to speak up more. I want to speak in class. I want to like feel like I know stuff. Like whatever my goal is for the day, I write that in my journal too.